What's up guys, it is Andrew at night and today I'm going to run you through my top 10 applications for the Galaxy Note 2 and you're actually going to get 13 applications in this video, there's three more here and these two here, Dropbox and Flipboard, both come pre-installed on the Galaxy Note 2 so I thought it would be somewhat unfair to include those in my top 10 list but I suggest you check both those out, Flipboard has this really nice UI, it's a news application, also integrates with Twitter and Facebook, uh, where's my Twitter stream? Uh, here we go, Twitter and Facebook, which is really cool. You can use it to share things to Pocket, which is an application I'm going to be talking about a little bit later. But it's just a really nice looking news application. And the other one is Dropbox, which is, in my opinion, the best file sharing service. Uh, you can use, works across multiple operating systems, multiple devices. And when you get the S2, the S2, the Note 2, you get 50 gigabytes of free storage. So that's pretty cool. And this third one here is the Tesla Unread Count. It's a plugin for Nova Launcher, and I've just got that there to remind me the entire sort of Nova Launcher thing. I'm not going to include Nova Launcher in this list, but um, if you want a replacement launcher, I can suggest that um, above all other launches. It's my favourite one. Uh, so I'm just going to jump into these top ten here. The first one is PicSpeed Live Wallpapers. Sorry, um, PicSpeed Wallpapers, which I've choose, uh, talked about before. This is my favourite wallpaper choosing application, I and mean, the quality is really, really good. There's a really good diverse. Uh, number of wallpapers so we're just going to go in via colour here find a colour we like let's go in via let's go in via grey and see what we've got my S3 is dying again I've been filming all day so the S3's battery is taking a bit of a hit um, we'll see what we can find so we have wallpapers Halloween's coming up we'll have a look at this one so you can hit save here to save it to your SD card and you hit there to set and then hit set again and it will set your wallpaper as you can see here, really cool, really good quality. Scrolls along with Nova Launcher. These are really good guys. I think if you want a wallpaper application, and loads of people always ask where my wallpapers are from, I suggest you use this application. I'll also put a link in the description to my blog where I have a section for wallpapers that I've used in videos, and you can just go there and download the files there as well if um, if you so wish. Next one we've got is Camera FX or Camera Zoom FX, and this is a camera app that lets you add filters and stuff. It's kind of like Instagram but it hasn't got that sort of half-baked social thing. This basically just works as a photo editor so you can add sort of like all the classic Instagram things. You can add all these uh, filters. You can also do a bunch of other things. You can add frames and other tone and stuff. So it's a really good application if you want to do some photo editing and you don't want that sort of whole social aspect of Instagram. I use that and then I share them on Facebook and Twitter because um, I don't feel like I need another social network. Uh, next we've got Chrome which is my favourite browser and especially if you use this on your other devices you can see here I can see everything that's open on my MacBook Pro, on my Nexus 7, on my i9 300, on my sister's Nexus 7 which is slightly worrying, on my Ubuntu netbook and on my phone before I rooted it. So you can see you've got that there. You've got all your um, bookmarks saved from the desktop version and it's just really, really quick. Looks really nice. Can't fault the browser. Next one is Evernote, which I've talked about before. This is my favorite notes application and again syncs over all your operating systems and all your devices. So for example here I have a videos notebook. I'm going to open that and you can see here Note 2 and this is just some things I've done videos on, so there's some videos I'm going to do. This one is that list I was using earlier on my Nexus 7 to do my tips and tricks video. So you can see all that syncs across. It's got a really nice um, Holo UI, um, which I really like. And it's just a really tidy looking application and it's really powerful if you do need a Notes app that syncs across all your devices. Next up we've got Boyd Beta which is in my opinion the best Twitter client at the moment. I'm still waiting for Carbon to come out but in the meantime I've been using this and it seems pretty good. Uh, you can scroll across so it's got that sort of holo theme, you can see your messages, your mentions, things like that. Um, has good notification system so I think if you do want a Twitter, Twitter, Twitter client I suggest that one. Next up we've got Pocket which is the app I mentioned earlier and this basically allows you to save web pages um, blog articles so for example you can save from Flipboard you can save from Twitter and this just gives you a place where you can read them offline and you can also read them on any device that you sign into so I've got Pocket installed on all my Android devices and on my MacBook so for example I saved this earlier from Flipboard on my S3 and I can now read it here and I can read it on my MacBook I can also read it offline 
Um, and then if I am online, I can use all the hyperlinks and things. So that's a really good application. If you want somewhere you can save all your stuff to read later, which is what it's really for. So if you're on the tube or you're on the train or you don't have time to read an article, you can save it for later. It's got a really nice UI. And I just really, really like it, guys. It's also now free, which is also a bonus. Solid Explorer is the next one. And this is an application I've talked about before as probably the best file explorer on Android. You've got this dual column setup. So you can set one column up to be, say, your Dropbox, and then you can drag and drop. But it's also just really powerful as far as actually looking through the device goes. And there's not actually anything on this note at the moment, so I can't really show you it. But um, it's a really nice file manager, and it definitely, um, definitely surpasses the stock one. Next, we have Swift Key 3, which is my favorite uh, keyboard. Um, so you can see all the settings here. There's a bunch of themes, things like that. I'm just going to type something just to give you an idea how good it is. Um, So you can see I'm typing one-handed here, it's kind of difficult because I'm looking through a camera, but it's really quick. The best thing I love about this is being able to swipe backwards, which again, the camera's kind of difficult. Come on. I'm going to hold it for you. Hmm. There you go, you can sort of see it works. It's kind of difficult for the camera stuff. When you swipe backwards, it deletes words, um, which I think is really good. You can adjust it so that it syncs all the data from your Twitter, your Facebook, your Gmail, so it will auto-correct names and things like that. Next application is Google Goggles, which I mainly use for art. Uh, just going to set this up for the first time. Can I use my Gmail? Allow access. Now, what this actually do is scan things like QR codes and things like that, but it also lets you take photos. For example, you can see here I've been taking photos of paintings and it will actually tell you what the painting is, uh, you can find more information about it online, that sort of thing, and it works with logos, so I imagine it will probably work with this little mat I've got here, I'm not sure if we pick up the Android or the Apple, probably the Apple, this is it's most prominent, um, no it didn't, so you see that it's actually pulled up the, uh, oh, get to rotate, okay, it's actually pulled up the Android t-shirt that I've bought so I think I've got out of frame there. So it's actually pulled up the Android T-shirt that the T-shirt is, which is pretty impressive. So you can see Google Goggles is a really powerful app. And the last one is Beyond Pod, which is my favorite podcast manager, um, which I need to actually set up, so I've just installed this. But this is really nice. It lets you um, just listen to podcasts, simple as that. But it works really nicely. It's really quick, downloads very quickly, and the interface is quite nice. And there's a widget. So um, I suggest that if you want to listen to podcasts, Right guys, um, that's been my top 10 applications for the Galaxy Note 2, and if you've got any questions please comment, if you've got any apps of your own please stick them in the comments, and please subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Ta-ra!